Uh, just not. No, it's not. It's okay. not there. It's actually broadcasting. Okay, yeah. great. You're talking, it's broadcasting the presentation. Yeah, no problem. So, uh, so I don't need to. Like, do no, you don't need to dance. Or yeah. So, uh, my name is Vince. I'm here to represent my teammates, Zed and Jackie, uh, for Tad Hack Singapore 2017. Um, so, slide please. Uh, when we, what video calling is probably one of the most common WebRTC use cases. So when we were trying to figure out what our app is going to be, um, next slide please. Come on, I'm going to move it over here so you can see it and everyone else in the room. Okay, great. So as I said, video calling is one of the most common web, uh, WebRTC use cases. So when we were thinking about um, what our next, what our app is going to be, so we were thinking, what could we add um, to video calling that would give the user more control or more data as the call happens? Excuse me. It seems like it's not working. Use the scroll. That the Actually, if you're mousing over it. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. And next slide, please. So one of the criteria that we were thinking when we were building the app, it should be quick and easy to get started, and there should be minimal server setup. Next slide, please. So what we built, uh, we embedded sentiment analysis, object detection, and OCR detection within the video call. Um, for this, we used the Temesis Web SDK, uh, Google Cloud Vision, and AWS Lambda for our serverless needs. Uh, so what our app does, it just allows the peer to analyze the other person in the video and to get information about their sentiment, like how they're feeling right now. Are they happy? Uh, do they look sad? Are they surprised? Um, what the picture quality looks like? Uh, objects seen in the video, are they wearing glasses? Do they have a mustache? Are they, are they wearing headgear? Um, it also detects text that you inside the video from your shirts or from your background or from documents that you put in front of the camera. So, uh, possible use cases for this, um, for sentiment analysis, uh, in an interview, instead of the reviewer focusing on the interviewee, he, the interviewer could just focus on asking you questions and you know analyze the, the interview later. Uh, it can be useful for customer reviews or surveys. Um, for OCR, uh, detecting in-video text can be very valuable when you're um, saving time instead of scanning documents or IDs you just present it in front of the, of the camera instead of uh, taking the time to scan them or encode them um, while, during the call. Uh, so we're going to do a demo of the app. Okay, you can talk over this and you can drive this one. Okay, cool. 
So this is our, our demo. Um, Let me close off the. For the people in the live stream, the screen that you're seeing is the agent screen or the main user screen. I'll be acting as like the customer or the interviewee, and Let will be interviewing me, and she has all the control power for like how to. She'll have the control panel for the sentiment analysis and all that other um, fancy stuff. So um, we're now in a video call um, and let, if you can just show them uh, how our sentiment analysis works, I can just show my face. And in the live stream, you'll see um, like how likely I am to be happy, how likely I am to be sad. Um, you'll also see the objects that can be seen uh, in the picture with me, which is like my glasses. Um, like it also tells me that I have a huge forehead, and <laughs> and also it detects text, right? It, it shows like what my shirt says, and um, and yeah, all that other fancy uh, what do you call this sentiment analysis stuff. So I could like uh, it actually also detects handwriting. So if I show this on the video, it should read. Um, wait, what? I can't position the camera. Okay. Right there. And it should read. Hello, Singapore. It says, hello, Singapore. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> I need to improve my handwriting, apparently. But so uh, at least we it shows that, hello, Singapore, it can read from handwriting as well. So, uh, there, that's our demo. Cool. Thanks, guys.